Hello everyone, welcome to this week's news and community spotlights. If you were a fan of the Amazon Prime Video TV blockbuster series Fallout, you might be interested to learn more about how the studio Magnopus brought it to life with impressive virtual production tools and techniques powered by Unreal Engine. For over a decade, Magnopus has been a pioneering technology and creative studio building one-of-a-kind entertainment experiences. From immersive VR and AR experiences to all aspects of virtual production, spanning in-camera VFX, virtual art department, and LED volume operations, Magnopus and Unreal Engine service partner has been entrusted by today's top filmmakers and brands to push the limits of technology in service of truly memorable content. Recently, the studio worked closely with Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy's Kilter Studios on virtual production for Fallout. We caught up with AJ Shudo, director of virtual production at Magnopus, to discuss the creative and technical process for bringing this dystopian world to life using ICVFX, the real-time flexibility afforded by Unreal Engine, making virtual production work with 35mm film, and much more. If you're up for hearing the rest of the interview, you can do so at unrealengine.com slash feed. For devs of all levels, beginner to advanced, there's always room to improve and grow our skills. If you're looking for a place to bump up some of your knowledge base, check out the incredible tutorials provided by Ask a Dev, a channel dedicated to streaming Unreal Engine tutorials and training of amazing quality. Some of their most recent series revolve around modular rigs and control rigs, offering a very insightful walkthrough of the tools in an easy-to-follow format that fills in gaps and gets you creating within just a few hours. Beyond just these few examples, there is a plethora of other learning content available that will undoubtedly cover a topic of interest for you and your projects. Check out their YouTube channel, Ask a Dev, for more. Now, without further ado, let's get into the community spotlights for this week. Viking Clothing by Ruslan Matvienko is a stunning 3D recreation of clothing made by the Oakstall Workshop. Masterfully utilizing tools such as Marvelous Designer, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and more to mimic the look of quilted leather and heavy protective fabrics. With a combination of four UV sets and a little over 41,000 tries, this study looks ready to step out of the screen. If you're interested in seeing more of their work, you can do so at their art station. Hidden Elven Valley by Zara Khan is a composition and lighting study that will take you on a visual adventure. They wanted to experiment and design the composition throughout the building process, making for a unique creative challenge that involved a lot of back and forth with gray blocking all the way up until the very end. Taking a stylized spin on a concept by the Paper Blue artist, they crafted a beautiful result utilizing a combination of blended custom sculpted meshes and Unreal Engine landscape tools, finalizing the project with just a touch of foliage. Their art station shows off not only the beautiful final renders, but a very in-depth explanation of their progress and thought process. Check out their page if you're interested in learning more. Abandoned Church by Sasha Oncharava is a breathtaking revisit to their very first environment project. Showcasing marketed improvement to general composition, lighting, textures, and storytelling elements, they ended up creating a very thoughtful project absolutely bursting with life and environmental storytelling. Using tools like the Substance Suite, Maya, Houdini, and Marvelous Designer, they rendered in Unreal Engine a project that you could spend hours touring to catch every painstakingly and purposefully placed detail and still feel like there's more to find. To get the full experience or see their other work, make sure you check out their art station. That's it for today's news and community spotlights. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.